Hi, I am Dr. Sakir Mansoor and this is my channel Learning Anatomy for You and today I will discuss with you Tibis Torsalis. And uh, Tibis Torsalis summary is that number A is paresthesia, pain and polyuria. This is three P's, paresthesia, pain and polyuria. And this associations are late stage syphilis, also known as tertiary syphilis, sensory ataxia, positive rhombic sign, sways when eyes are closed, right? When the patient walks and uh, he sways to one side that when the eyes are closed. Of course, that is involvement of the dorsal column, medial lemniscus. I will tell you later on. Suppressed reflexes and argyle Robertson pupils. That I will tell you later on with the picture. And C is the location of the lien is common at lumbar cord levels. Tibis torsalis patients present with, these are the clinical correlates, they present with paresthesias, that is pins and needle sensations, pain, polyuria, and rhombic sign, as told earlier. It is one possible manifestation of neurosyphilis. It is a result of bilateral degeneration of dorsal roots, right? Here you could see these are the dorsal roots, their degeneration. And then is the secondary degeneration of the dorsal columns. Here they are the dorsal columns, medial meniscus, right? Fasciculus crassalus and the fasciculus cuneatus. There may occur impaired vibration and position sense, paroxysmal pains, ataxia and astereogenesis, as well as diminished stretch, stretch reflexes or incontinence, right? Of course, this is all results of the this dorsal column damage. Due to the loss of the proprioceptive pathways, patients with tibis torsalis are unsure of where the ground is and they walk with a characteristic high step stride. What is that? High step stride, which is almost diagnostic, right? And here you see this is the Argyle Robertson pupil site. Diabetic patients may also present with argyle Robertson pupils as I discussed earlier with you. So what are the argyle Robertson pupils? The bilateral small pupils. Bilateral small pupils that they accommodate, that is mean decrease in size on a near object, but they do not react, don't constrict when they are exposed to bright light. So in summary, they accommodate, but they do not react the argyle Robertson pupils. Tibis torsalis is now rare, but was very common in the pre-antibiotic era. Charcot's joints, destruction of articular surfaces as a result of repeated injury of insensitive joints may be present in Tibis torsalis. So what is tibetic? crisis. These are subjective sensory disturbances and comprise severe com cramping pains in the larynx, stomach or other viscera. Thank you very much for listening to this brief lecture and uh, next I will uh, uh, bring the new topic, the basal nuclei. I have finished with you the uh, this uh, discussion with the first of the new gross anatomy of the spinal cord and then uh, all the more important um, clinical of the spinal cord. So I thank you very much. Stay tuned and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.